Okay, here we have a handheld uh, refractometer to measure salinity. Uh, and these models, very easy to use. You can see it's a small handheld device with an area where we can put a seawater sample on top of a glass section here. Underneath this section we have a, a small screw and sometimes these kits are supplied with a tiny screwdriver and this will be used for calibrating it which we'll talk about in a moment. And at the end here we have an adjustable eyepiece which acts a bit like a pair of binoculars. You can adjust it to gain a better focus according to your eyesight. These models are pretty similar across different companies. That's one example. Here we have a V2 refractometer from Tropical Marine Centre and you can see it's exactly the same. The only um, thing I'd like to highlight when looking after these models is that when we do give them a wash, do make sure you remember to wash, rinse this area gently with a um, fresh water saturated sponge and then dry it off the tissue because you can see it become rusty very quickly, particularly when you're using seawater like we do here in the lab. So using the V2 refractometer, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your refractometer before you measure your seawater samples salinity levels. So firstly, you need distilled water, you need a bit of lab tissue and obviously your refractometer. So we're going to first of all lift this cover plate and we're going to place our sample onto this section here. Now it does take a bit of practice when you haven't done this before, but using the distilled water you can just create a nice big film there. And then using the cover plate you need to try and avoid, you need to squash your sample between the cover plate and the glass section that the water's on now. But you need to do this without creating air bubbles so it does take a bit of practice but what i suggest you do is gradually squeeze that sea water on the first section of that cover plate like here and then it'll push out and then we don't get any air bubbles if you see any air bubbles just dry it off and repeat there's nothing like a bit of practice to get a technique going so after we've done that we then look through the ip section and we check where the lighter section and the dark blue region meet on the scale bar. You found that your freshwater sample has not scaled at zero on your salinity scale within your eyepiece. So we need to adjust this by using this calibration screw here. So literally while you're looking through the eyepiece, so just very gently adjust with the screw until that, that level meets at zero and then your refractometer is calibrated. You've now calibrated your refractometer and you're ready to measure the salinity levels in your seawater sample which we have here. So simply using a um, clean pipette, repeat the process that you did before ensuring that your sample is cleanly on this uh, measurement glass section on the refractometer and then ensuring that you don't have any air bubbles underneath here. And then you're ready to measure your salinity levels of your sample. Now that you've finished using your refractometer to measure all your samples, uh, we do have to make sure that it's cleaned properly and dried properly before it's put away. One of the biggest problems I have with student, many students using my refractometers is that they become very rusty and fall apart because they're not looked after properly. So all it takes is to make sure that you give your refractometer a very good wash because remember your seawater samples are incredibly corrosive and over time this can really reduce the quality of your ref refractometer. So give it a very good rinse making sure you don't make a huge mess at the same time. And if you do, please tidy it up afterwards because we have many people using this lab. So we've done that section there. Um, we find that this calibration screw obviously gets very rusty 
uh, because it's a very small um, section and that often gets missed out from cleaning. So do make sure that you wash that too. And any other, any other areas that you feel um, may have got covered in the seawater. Now with the eyepiece, if you do get some seawater on here, um, use a, um, a cloth that's covered in fresh water and give that a dab instead because we don't want water going into this section here. Okay, so we've now cleaned that. And we're going to make sure it's dried properly before we put it away into storage so it's nice and clean and ready for the next person to use.